Hi. In this video, I'm going to go over question number two from exercise 15K. So uh, I hope you guys have watched the previous video where I did question number one for you. Now let's look at question number two. So um, you see that we're all talking about standard normal distribution because the Z. Right? So this is all standard normal distribution where my mean is going to be zero and my standard deviation is one. So all of my mean is going to be zero and my standard deviation is going to be equal to one. <coughs> okay, so now let's look at part A. The probability, given that the probability between one and A is 0.12. So let's put down the mean first. The mean is going to be right in the middle. My mean is here. This is equal to zero. And this is my one standard deviation. <coughs> now, let me use different color. I'm going to use blue. If you think about where we can put down the A, it has to be a value that is greater than one. In other words, my A has to be on the right of this one. Right? So my A has to be here. And they say that my random variable Z is going to be between them this area right that area is the probability is 0 0.12 okay now if you think about this <coughs> this 0.12 um, I'm gonna use different colors to shape this my pink area right now okay isn't that the same area where I take oops, I take everything <coughs> everything below A, so I'm going to use a different color here, let me use black, everything below A, and subtract, subtract that, subtract what? So this is everything below A, <coughs> and subtract everything of 1. Does that make sense? So I will take the probability, I just find it, in order for me to get the pink, the pink area, I take the whole black area and then subtract the yellow area, which is the area below one, right, below one. So another way of saying this, let me write that down, 0 0.12 is equal to the probability of your random variable z less than a minus the probability of z, uh, z less than 1. <coughs> okay, so with the probability of z less than 1, we can use our calculator. Uh, let's bring out my calculator. And I'm going to use the, the norm CDF. So norm CDF. My lower is going to be everything, the very negative value. Uh, my upper is going to be 1. Because right now I'm trying to find this probability of z less than 1. So my upper, I'm going to have a 1. Uh, standard deviation, st standard normal distribution. So 0 and 1 here. You just paste it. I get 0.84. Alright, so this is equal to 0.84. So let me remove the, the picture here. Remove that. Now, this is equal to 0 0.12 is equal to the probability of z less than a minus, what was it? It was 0 0.8413. Four, one, three. Sorry about the handwriting. So my probability of z is less than a. <coughs> z is less than a is equal to, if you put that in your calculator, you'll get 0 0.9613. And now what we can do is, again, use my calculator, and just go to stand, uh, go to inverse norm. Right, go to inverse norm, the area we have, which is the black area, the black area that we had earlier on, that is 0 0.9613. Mean is 
0, 20 degrees change 1. Face, my A is equal to 1.77. So my A is approximately 1.77. In other words, my A is about 1.8 standard deviation above the mean. Okay, so if you take um, the area, if you take the area between one standard deviation and 1.77, 1.77 standard deviation, if you take the area of that, you'll get a 12%. You get a 0.12 um, probability from that region, from that interval. All right. I'm going to show you guys how to do, um, let's do part B. But I'm going to clear the screen. So if you haven't um, written down the stuff I have here on the left, please pause the video and do that now. All right, so let's do B now. So let, uh, let us put down the mean first. The mean is going to be here, and that is equal to zero. Now for part B, they are saying that my random variable Z is between A and 1.6. So 1.6 for sure is on this side. So it's going to be somewhere here. So this is 1.6. Now, where is my A going to be? Is my A going to be here? Or there? We don't know. And to be honest right now, we don't. But what we know for sure is my A cannot be there. This is not where A is. Because my A has to be less than 1.6. So it could be every, uh, any value on the left of 1.6. Right? So just make sure you don't have your A on the right of this 1.6 line. So for now, I'm just going to put my A there. I don't know exactly if that's correct. But again, this is just a sketch. Right? And they are saying that the region... The region between the A and the 1.6 is this yellow part, this yellow part, and that area is 0 0.787, <coughs> okay? Now, again, um, let me shade the possible part that we have here. The yellow part would be everything below 1.6. Everything below 1.6, okay, minus the yellow part. The yellow part is everything below 1.6, which is the, the blue part, minus the black part. Does that make sense? Right. So I, I'm going to write that down in terms of um, in terms of an equation. Right. So my yellow part, which is 0 0.787. equal to everything that is below 1.6, so z is less than 1.6, the probability gives us the area, right? And we, just now we mentioned that yellow, the yellow area is the blue area, which is the blue area, minus the black area. The black area is z less than a. So we can use my graphing calculator go to normal CD, CDF from a very negative value to, in this case, 1.6. Uh, mean is 0, standard, standard deviation is 1, and I get 0 0.9452. 0 0.787 is equal to 0 0.9452 or by 2 minus uh, the probability of z is less than a, which is the black area. So if you use the calculator, you see that the probability of z is less than a should be 0 0.1582. All right. And now we can use this inverse norm. area we're talking about here is the black area and that is 0.1582. Mean is 0, standard deviation is 1, face it, my A is approximately negative 1.002. So appro approximately your A is approximately
talks about the negative one. So, what does that say about my sketch? My sketch is off. Right? My sketch is way off, actually. Okay. So my um, instead of having my a over here, my a should be my a should be negative one. In other words, it is one standard deviation below. This is my a, and it is approximately negative one. One standard deviation below the mean. Okay, so if I were to sketch this again to make a better sketch, my bell curve, my mean is here, and I know my a is going to be negative one. This is my a is equal to negative one. My one point six. So this is going to be one. One point six is going to be somewhere there. So the area, this area of um, 0 0.787, let's not think about this part, right, all of this area is, um, is what we are looking at. That's the 0 0.787, okay? Well, I guess the most important part um, to solve questions like this is to see which area do we subtract from a bigger area to get smaller area that we want. So if you go back to um, the section of the video where I mentioned about yellow, black, and blue, um, maybe go back and review on that. Okay. Now I have a few more minutes for part C, so please pause the video, take down the notes, and I'm gonna I'm going to clear my screen now. All right, let's do part C. So my mean is gonna again gonna be in the middle. Now if you look at the the question, it says my random variable z is between a and negative 0.3. So um, my a has to be somewhere a value that is less than the negative 0.3. So let's say this is my negative 0.3. My a has to be on the left of that. This is my a. This is my a. In fact, it should be negative a, correct? And the, the area between them, the area between So um, I'm not going to solve this question for you guys, but if you think about it, let's try to use different colors. This black area would be everything below 0 0.3, right? everything below the negative 0 0.3 minus everything below negative A, right? everything below ne negative 0 0.3 minus everything below negative a. So if you type it if you actually if I write that out, I'll get 0 0.182 is equal to the probability of everything below negative 0 0.3 minus the probability of everything below negative a. And I will leave this up to you guys, right? Um, very similar approach to what we have done for part A and part B. So go ahead, give it a try. Um, let me know if you need help. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.